What's up, all stars? Welcome to the School of Ireland. Today, we're gonna to look at the difference between memory recall and memory recognition. And to do that, you're gonna take a memory test. But first, let's define some terms. Recall requires an individual to retrieve memories without the help of external cues. On the other hand, recognition is where an individual is able to identify a piece of information from memory with the help of external cues. So it's now time for the memory test. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read off a list of terms. And when I tell you, I want you to write down as many of those terms from memory as possible. Possible. So I recommend grabbing a pen and paper or opening up some program that you can type in. Here are the rules. No pausing, rewinding, or slowing down the video, and you can't start writing or typing until I say so. Are you ready? Here we go. Leg. Spoon. Computer. Tree. Volcano. Stick. X-ray. Air. Yellow. Pollution. Egg. Clipboard. Grass, thumbtack, doctor, storm, refrigerator, chair, fox, ball, television, window, pillow, hamburger, garden. All right, so those are the terms. Go ahead and pause this video and write down as many words as you can remember. And when you're done, come back and hit play. I promise we're gonna go over the answers in just a minute, but what I want you to do now is flip over your paper or start a new page in the program that you're typing with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a list of words that has all of the terms that I just read off a minute ago, but there's a catch. This list of words will contain some additional terms that weren't a part of the original list. So it's your job to properly identify which terms are from the original list that I read off a minute ago. So as soon as you see the list, feel free to pause this video and take all the time that you need to properly identify the correct terms. When you feel ready to check your answers, go ahead and hit play. Good luck. Are you ready for the answers? Here they are. The terms that you see in orange are from the original list that I read out loud a minute ago. So what you can do now is pause this video one more time and then go ahead and individually score both lists. And when you're done, go ahead and compare them to each other. So I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna guess that most of you got more terms right on the second list than the first list. But why? Well, it has everything to do with the difference between recall and recognition. Remember, recall requires you to retrieve memories without the help of external cues. And that's exactly what you did when you made the first list. You didn't have any outside help. You were just trying to get out all the terms that you were probably repeating over and over and over in your head as fast as possible. But when you made the second list, you did have some help. You had a visual aid that contained all of the terms that I originally read out loud, in addition to some other terms that were intentionally meant to be distractors. And through recognition, you were probably able to identify more words than you did on the previous list. And this is because you had environmental cues that helped prime your brain to retrieve those words. I wanna mention something real quick. It's important to understand that recognition still requires you to know the information to some extent, but it's the environmental cues or hints that make it easier to retrieve that information. So the takeaway is pretty straightforward here. It's easier to retrieve information through the use of recognition rather than recall. And that's pretty much always gonna hold true. It also explains why students tend to do better on multiple choice tests rather than short answer or essay exams. And that's because multiple choice tests require the use of recognition and essays require pure recall. So here's a piece of advice for you. The next time you take a test, try to figure out ahead of time what type of test the teacher is going to give. Because a lot of times students will study and study until the information feels familiar enough that if they see it on a multiple choice test, they'll be able to recognize or pull out the right answer. But if that same information showed up on an essay question, they haven't studied it enough to the point where they'll be able to recall that information from memory without any external cues. And if you don't know what type of test the teacher's gonna give, you better study really hard because you don't know if you're gonna have to use recall or recognition. That's it, All-Stars. Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so that you can dominate your psych class. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.